Hello all, I am Joshua Daniel, Assistant Professor, Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering, Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology. The topic that we are going to discuss today is PMMC, Permanent Magnet Moving Coil Instrument. Let's see the front view and top view of a PMMC instrument. Here we can see that there are north pole and south pole in between this permanent magnet we have the core and top of that we have the former and on top of that we have the winding this is mounted on the spindle and that is suspended on pivot and jewel bearings on both top and bottom we have the pointer we have the scale we have the mirror and we have the balance weights. We have a spring on both ends. When we see the top view, we can see the scale, we can see the pointer, we can see the former, the coil which is wound on this cylindrical aluminium former. We have a spring, we can see the permanent magnets and how the flux lines are radial in nature. Let's see an internal construction view of this PMMC instrument. Here you can see a U-shaped permanent magnet. We have the coil, we have the spring, we have the spindle and the pointer. And the torque exerted on this coil, that is TD, deflecting torque. We can see a voltmeter and how it is having this construction inside it this is a scale next let's see the construction of the pmmc instrument the pmmc instrument consists of a moving coil wound with many turns of enameled or silk covered copper wire the coil is mounted on a rectangular aluminium former which pivots on jeweled bearings. You can see it on the top right corner here. Most of the voltmeters are wound on metal frames for electromagnetic damping, while ammeter coils are wound on non-magnetic formers. We can see the instrument includes permanent magnet, controlled springs, aluminum cylindrical core, the pointer, the pivots and the graduated scale. This is a 3D view of the PMMC instrument. You can see the assembled arrangement here. We can see the core, we can see the spindle, we can see the spring, the pointer and the casing outside, the permanent magnets and everything. Next we will see the working of a PMMC instrument. The, here you can see the former, the coil, the spindle, the two springs which are suspended in between the permanent magnet. So what happens here? Let's see the working. It is similar to a DC motor, electromagnetic induction. When a current passes through the coil it produces a magnetic flux in the core. According to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, a current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field will experience a force in the direction determined by Fleming's left hand rule. The flux density right, varies across the coil due to permanent magnets field right it is radial in nature here right so this imbalance exerts a force on the conductor causing the coil to rotate which is indirectly connected to the pointer right so the deflecting torque is proportional to the current passing through the coil the damping torque is provided by eddy current damping it is obtained by the movement of the aluminium former moving in the magnetic field of the permanent magnet. 
there are phosphor bronze hair springs provided for controlling torque why do we need control torque once the deflecting torque is set up the controlling torque acts in the opposite direction on the pointer so that it will point to the right correct reading right? there is a common question why pmmc instrument is not used for ac measurement right? pmmc instruments are d arsenoval meters and are used only for measuring dc suppose we use ac the direction of the current will be reversed during the negative half cycle and hence the direction of the torque will also be reversed when we see the net movement it become the average value becomes zero the torque value becomes zero so there is no movement so that is the reason why pmmc instruments are not used for ac measurements so next let's see some advantages and disadvantages of the pmmc instrument it has high accuracy and sensitivity it has a uniform scale it has low power consumption and obviously it is suitable for dc measurement let's see some disadvantages they cannot be used for ac measurement the construction is expensive because of high quality materials and precision over time these permanent magnets and control springs may lose its uh, magnetic properties and mechanical behavior so there can be errors in the reading the moving system of the pmmc instrument is delicate uh, poor maintenance or mishandling can easily damage the instrument so magnetism loss over time can affect the accuracy of the instrument hope you have understood a basic concept of pmmc instruments thank you